very much so for today uh, for the remaining uh, 20 or 25 minutes i will uh, uh, my intention is to go through the overview of this particular course it is called aerospace quality and project management uh, for those who graduated from aerospace engineering uh, program uh, at the bachelor level from UPM, you will be seeing that there are some similarity eh, from what we are going to share with you in this particular course. Basically, this is a continuation uh, subject for the aerospace industry management course that you took during your undergraduate program. All right. In terms of the content that I'm going to share with you, uh, let uh, me um, uh, highlight here that the PowerPoint that I'm sharing with you uh, now will be uh, available later on uh, in Putra Blast. So you can uh, download the PowerPoint slide and you can um, really uh, revise at your own pace. Eh? So uh, over here, uh, let me just uh, try to pick up um laser pointer okay so we will be looking at the course synopsis we will then look into the learning outcomes and the program objectives the course topics and um, i believe there are around nine course topics um, plus one case study and then we will look at the assessments what you need to do in order for you to get a good grades uh, from this particular course and the relevant references that we are using for this particular uh, course. Um, in terms of the synopsis, right? Uh, this course basically covers an introduction to aerospace industry management. So for those who are from aerospace bachelor engineering program from UPM, you will be already familiar with the aerospace industry uh, management, okay, for the five subsector that we have already highlighted earlier. Right. So, but the expansion for that, the, the another seventy percent of that, which is not covered during your undergraduate program, includes the principal, the standard and compliance, the marketing, operational and risk management. Right in the aerospace industry. So, um, if you still remember, um, uh, in your undergraduate course eh, for those who are from aerospace UPM you have already been introduced AS9100 eh? see this this aerospace uh, quality standards for for uh, for this particular course we are we are going to touch upon that at the same time we will introduce another one which is ISO 3000 which is the risk management for aerospace industry okay in terms of the learning outcomes there are three uh, main learning outcomes. We call it as the cost outcomes, eh? CO1, CO2, and CO number three. So basically, uh, the cost outcome number one, uh, at the end of this particular course, you should be able to assess the organization standards and compliance in management in the aerospace industry. Eh? So I will guide you on how you going to assess uh, the organization standards and compliance for the companies in the aerospace industry and then we will you also will be able to strategize eh, appropriate steps for marketing because we are we have a specific topic on aerospace marketing eh, in air in 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 term of uh, risk management uh, in the aerospace industry so we we have steps for marketing in aerospace industry and risk management in aerospace industry and finally uh, for the cost outcome number three you should be able to describe the operation and management of supply chain in the aerospace industry so the supply chain that we are talking about uh, is related to the uh, four or oh, sorry the five main subsector that we have already already highlighted earlier in terms of the MRO supply chain the manufacturing supply chain the engineering design the system integration at the same time we will also touch upon education and uh, training aspect so um, similarly with other courses the course outcome uh, for this particular course is being mapped to the uh, master program outcome the master of aerospace system engineering uh, des design engineering course the master program so the uh, master program uh, having six program outcomes 
So um, out of the six, only three being mapped to this particular cause. So since we have three cause outcome, so if we map it uh, directly one by one to the uh, program outcomes. So basically program outcome number one, which uh, you are able to show advancing in knowledge and continuous and also able to develop and applying knowledge in new situation or in aerospace engineering discipline context that we map against cost outcome number one. And then for program outcome number three, you are able to evaluate information and research evidences, right? So meaning that you are going to do in your assignments, right? You are going to uh, able to do some uh, research activity, uh, literature review, and also apply it in terms of engineering, uh, aerospace engineering context through digital instrument applications and suitable numerical technique. And finally, okay, program outcome number six, uh, you are able to recognize the need in continuous professional development that we map against cost outcome number three, all right? So those are the cost outcome and the program outcomes. So these are the cost topics. Eh? We have, an, as I said, there are nine uh, cost topics. At the same time, we have uh, number 10 is actually the case study, eh? the case study where you are going to do the uh, assignment, right? So in terms of the first topic, we have aerospace management, we have aerospace industry. So basically, these are the two that are um, for those who are from aerospace UPM. So you find out, oh, there are, it is uh, something similar that you have already gone through in your undergraduate. Eh? So we will look at aerospace management. We will look at aerospace industry. We then move into standard and compliance, okay, that are relevant to aerospace industry. And then we talk about supply chain operations and management. And we will then uh, look into CIP, continuous process improvement and strategy in aerospace management and uh, number six management of aerospace program number seven is talking about contract management principles and then uh, move into aerospace marketing management before we end up our uh, topic uh, to look into risk management in the aerospace industry let us look into one by one what is being covered under aerospace management so basically we will uh, explore in terms of the background of the aerospace industry in the world at the same time aerospace industry in the region and in Malaysia and uh, we will also touch upon definition and classification of management in aerospace that is topic number one okay and then uh, topic number two talking about aerospace industry uh, as a whole so we have the five main subsector for aerospace, MRO, manufacturing, system integration, engineering and design, and education and training, All right? Um, then we move into standards and compliance in aerospace industry. Okay, this, these are the subtopic. We will look into the importance and benefits of the standards and norms in aerospace. We will uh, try to look in terms of the terms and definitions. And finally, looking into the primary concepts, which include aerospace effectiveness processes. So, because we are talking about standards, we are talking about compliance in the aerospace industry. Um, then we move into supply chain operation. So, what is basic production and operation management in terms of the supply chain management? We will look into material management, production planning control, scheduling, capacity and facility planning and finally global management and operational strategies so for those who are who are already working in the industry maybe not in aerospace industry you you will also be able to compare uh, the supply chain operation in other subsector in other industry eh, like like electronics industry uh, manufacturing other manufacturing industry so so over here we will expose to you in term of the uh, the need of supply chain operation and management typically in aerospace industry uh, to continue right so we have the cpi continuous process improvement and we will look at the methods uh, example give, given here is lean uh, manufacturing six sigma constraint theory and benchmarking this is just an example eh? so we will try to explore other 
continuous process improvement and strategy that being used in aerospace industry management. Um, then we move into topic number six, management of aerospace programs. You will be exposed in terms of program management techniques, multi-initiative strategies, and continuous improvement projects. Okay, And then we move into contract management principles. We will look into fundamentals of contract management, procurement development requirements, uh, request suggestion and consultations, and finally, the contract formation, contract performance, and contract closing. So um, basically, you are not going into um, detailed contract management. Management. So we is just a we will touch just on the principle. So we will spend around three hours to look into contract management. If you are taking a master of business administration, for example, you have a subject called contract management. Okay, it is a it is a fourteen weeks course for contract management but for uh, the purpose of giving you some fundamentals so we will touch on uh, the principles only eh? how how uh, the contract management being being done especially in the case of aerospace engineering and uh, we will also touch upon aerospace marketing management similarly with contract management marketing management is a course on its own. It's not a topic. Eh? Uh, if you are taking a ma batch, uh, master of uh, business admin, there will be a course about marketing management. So we will just touch upon uh, what, uh, how aerospace uh, industry doing marketing. Eh? We will look into business intelligent marketing, uh, how the market segment and position being done, and marketing and sales action plan depending on the subsector of aerospace. And finally. Uh, we will also look at the uh, most important elements in this particular course, which is the risk management in the aerospace industry. We will touch upon the definition of risk, how is it being used in management system, opportunity and threats, the concept of risk management and methods and techniques for identifying and treating risk to management system. Right. So you will be introduced a uh, tool uh, to uh, identify uh, the risk uh, management and how to create a risk management assessment all right so that leads us to the assessment okay so uh, basically the cost is uh, of course 100 percent. so we have uh, the first three elements here are the continuous assessment so we have uh, tests we have quizzes we have assignment so i have already um, a device or arrange uh, for you to have uh, one test eh? so it's not a test eh? so just one a singular one single test over there and we have a few quizzes eh, to help you to improve your your marks and uh, assignment so most likely there will be two assignment which will be individuals okay so since uh, we are not having it uh, physically so I, I suggest we will do it uh, individual so that we can you can arrange your own uh, time to uh, do the the assignment on on yourself okay and uh, the final exam we will wait um, for the announcement by upm whether the examination will be conducted physically or they still allow us to conduct the exam online so whichever ways we still have the final exam of 40% so in terms of references, uh, most of the uh, notes, eh, they will be provided uh, to you. Eh? I will be providing you this um, uh, aerospace blueprint. Okay, um, that um, um, this is my name, Abu Talib AR. Okay, we published this uh, blueprint in 2015 for the second aerospace blueprint. And I will share it in the uh, Putra Blast later on. But the rest, I will try to get the ebook eh, for you to uh, have a look and uh, and use the material as additional references. Okay, mainly basically the notes will be provided to you either through my verbal um, lecture or through the notes that I share with you in uh, PowerPoint.